So let's welcome Angela to the stage. Angela, where are you? Thank you. Um, yes, as Brad did so well in introduction, I'm Angela. Um, Divine is my middle name. It's my mom's name, was my grandma's name, and now it's my daughter's middle name as well. So yeah, that's my family. Um, we went through a really long battle with infertility, so that baby is truly a miracle, and it's just, it's really awesome being a parent, but we love getting outside too, so a little bit about me. Um, but today I'm here to actually talk to you about body language and how it impacts your brand, because believe it or not, it really does, right? And I was looking around at some studies, and I found this fascinating that 55% five, of communication is through body language. And that makes sense, right, as we talk to each other. But when we think about it, like with your brand, like how you're posing or how you're showing up in your content, a lot of it is gonna be interpreted through body language. So how can we create body language that impacts our message, right, that drives the message we want home versus like just awkwardly smiling for the camera, right? So that's what I'd love to talk a little bit more about. But in order for us to get to how do we want to show up, we need to kind of go back a little bit and think about, okay, what do we want people to feel when they interact with us? So like if you want to jot it down in your brain or a you know, piece of paper, I always tell my clients before we do any shoot, like, what are three things you want someone to walk away with when they interact with your content, right? Do you want them to feel welcome? Do you want them to feel at ease? Um, do you want them to feel empathetic? Do you want them to be like, wow, this person's gonna be really fun. So I think it's really important to get clear on that first. So think about three ways you wanna show up. And then from there, once you have kind of that message clear, it's a lot easier to create imagery that goes with it. So, it's power and confidence. I hear this a lot, especially from coaches, consultants, and people who are leaders. They'll say, Angela, I want to convey power and confidence in my imagery. And I'll be like, great. So here's some things we can do. Um, and I'm gonna actually show you, and if anyone feels like getting up and like trying it on themselves, know that you're welcome to. This can be interactive as well. But um, for power and confidence, always feet hip width. Why? Um, when you point your toes forward and bring your feet hip width, first and foremost, it's physically grounding, energetically. I'm also a yoga teacher. I like the woo-woo. There's a lot of chakra and energy work that comes with the feet being hip width. I see some people nodding. I'm not alone. Yes. And then um, always point your hips and your shoulders forward towards the subject. Because if I'm looking at Pedro here, it's a lot more confident of a kind of a stance than if I was like turned to the side and looking at Pedro. So always face forward and you want to definitely like with hands people are always like what do i do with my hands hips are really nice um a lot of people do this too and i'm going to set the mic down so i don't knock it over but cross your arms right and i like an arm cross but you know like when we do body language and our arms are crossed it's kind of like uh does that person want to talk to me this is how you kind of fix that for photos shoulders back and down open it up and show your hands because when you show hands that's usually like kind of a trustworthy sign so it's like huh i'm friendly so it's like from this to this and then you definitely want to gaze at the camera and then i like to say like you don't need like a huge smile but maybe i'm aging myself anyone know tyra banks the next top model smizing right smile with the eyes versus smiling like super big with the face so that's some ways to display power and confidence. And even sitting, she looks super confident and powerful there. You can see that um, as she's sitting, she's sitting up really tall, good posture, and staring straight at the camera. You can sit and create power and confidence as well. So other people often say, I wanna come across fun and friendly. That's me, that's how I like to show up. So how do we come across fun and friendly in photos? Well, it's gonna kind of be the complete opposite of what I just talked about. You don't need to like stare or bring hands on hips. You wanna be a little bit more moving. So action creates a lot of fun and movement. So for example, Brad, I bet getting you doing one of your magic tricks would definitely convey some fun um, and friendly vibes. But I like to say if you do wanna kind of statically pose, like sometimes crossing your legs can be kind of nice. Um, or even like turning a little bit to the side and bringing weight in the back foot. Um, and then hand wise with fun and friendly, you could be holding something, you could be doing an action shot, you could be moving your arms. I sometimes even just like kind of like a little cross here. 
Um, I think sometimes tilting the head can be really nice too. And then of course like big smile or I love a look to the side and laugh. My people, when I photograph people, they're like, I hate doing that, but it always gives such a good photo because it's like, oh, they look like they're in the moment having fun, right? So those are some ways to get fun and friendly into your um, content. And then this is, tends to be the most popular. People say, I want to be professional, but I also want to be welcoming. So for that, I say, sitting down can be really nice, but sitting can be really nice or like leaning on the side. So, cause when we sit and talk to people, it's very like, hi, I feel very welcomed. I feel very friendly. Um, so I always love sitting, leaning in, or like this one where she's using the countertop, leaning in and kind of bringing an elbow. Touching the face is also really kind of friendly. People think that's like a soft kind of thing. Um, as far as like fingers go too, princess the fingers. I call it the parade wave. Um, if you're like holding your hands like this, right? It's such a difference. And I swear, like you don't realize you're doing it, right? So that's why I'm always like, just princess your fingers, bring your hands somewhere that feels good. So there are so many different ways you can come across in your content. It's really important to be clear on it so that when you are showing up, you're showing up the way that you want. So to kind of just like recap, if you will, best practices, one, get really clear, right? Identify how you want to show up. And then two, people are always like, really, should I do this? Yes, practice, practice with the mirror. Um, it may seem really silly, but I guarantee you'll be a lot happier with how your images turn out if you just look in a mirror and like be like, do I like it when I smile like this? I tend to do sometimes when I smile, like pushing the cheeks up so much that I can't see my eyes. Mm -hmm. Did I find that out after my first photo shoot where I spent hundreds of dollars? Sure did, right? So <laughs> practice a little bit. Look at your body in the mirror, see what works for you. Also, when you are getting your photo taken, for example, I always say to the people I'm working with, like, I want you to feel that emotion. So maybe we bring up a story or maybe we bring up something from the past um, or maybe you just embody that thought. And if it's like a happy thought, like think about like kittens, puppies, rainbows, something easy like that. But when you are feeling the emotion, it can come across in the camera so much more than if you're feeling really awkward or uncomfortable, right? So that's kind of all the different things and techniques I have for you. If you wanna connect with me, I actually do post a lot about like, here's different poses you could do. Here's my handle if you wanna follow me on Instagram. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate you all and feel free to let's talk after sometime. Thank you.